And recording again. Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex. This is me throwing a pencil at my screen. Stellaris New Trek. <laughs> Stellaris New Trek Horizons. Yep. Yep. Didn't fuck that up at all. Stellaris. Star Trek New Horizons mod. Playing as the United Federation of Planets. And never mind. Don't unpause. I'm about to do something very painful. Got. Got any Suluban in here? Oh god, it's not scrolling. I'm I'm scrolling the mouse wheel and the, it isn't going down. Got any Suluban in here? Oh god, this is so laggy. Click, unclick. No. What the fuck are you? Agrathian, not Suluban. Alright, click, unclick. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three No, no way are you being this slow. Scroll wheel? Alright. It is like a three second delay. Scroll wheel, scroll wheel, scroll wheel. <laughs> it's like It's so slow. Alright, um no, let's just keep this Keep this clicked. Good god. Now, to be fair, there we go. There we fucking found one. It is it is intended that you don't put all of your planets in one sector for this very reason. But I ain't no holla back girl. Ain't no holla back girl. All right, Iota Geminorium Prime. I am no longer highlighting the Sulon, thank you. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Click here. We, we, <laughs> su le bot. Ah, damn it. Iota Geminorium Prime, huh? Let's call this new su le bon. I know that's not the name of their home planet, but yeah, it's fine. That's fine. New Solvon. So now, when I'm like, oh god, I want to colonize with the su bon, but the game's not letting me. Yep, still not letting me. I can go to these brand new pretty continental worlds. Just click in here and do it myself, game. New Sulvan. Hell yeah! Repugnant survivors. Oh, survivors is quite nice. Where do I want you? Probably right here. Probably not even there. All right, Beta Pictoris 2, getting colonized. I uh, divorce for A. Let's give you some Sulevan. Got to Got to get them out there because, like I was saying a while ago now, the Sulevan are useful for one thing and one thing only, and that is that they are master geneticists, and master geneticists will give us access to technology that we do not have access to. So I am thrilled that we got them because I was concerned that with the death of the changelings, with the end of the Dominion, that no new master geneticists would be available for import to us. We've also seen the end of the... Um, Oh my god, they're they're in the Delta Quadrant. They have the phage. Nope, don't remember what they're called. They're dead in this setting anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, it sort of matters, but not very much. Vidians! Yeah. Omnitech knows what's up. Yeah, the Vidians. <laughs> I know I have the power of the internet in my hands. I have Google right here. I could have looked it up, but nah. Uh, instead, I just stare terrified into the camera, realizing my Star Trek knowledge is unacceptable. Uh, let's, let's colonize this. Who can I colonize with? The Gorn have a 95% habitability here. <laughs> but also, Gorn is not an option on this list, is it? I think it might not be an option on this list because we might have hit maximum number of species or it just hasn't loaded. Whatever. I know for a fact, though, that uh, New Suulban also has a Gorn on it. 
if I'm wrong about this, I'm going to be mighty displeased. I'm right about this. Hell yeah. Come on down to Maori Prime. Good enough. And then we have a marshland. Yeah, these I can just colonize with whatever. Tawarians. Yeah. Tawarians. I'm amazed that we still haven't convinced any Andorians to leave their homeworld at this point. Because the Andorian homeworld has been full of people. Absolutely full of people this entire game. Where the fuck? What? They have... They're not xenophobic, so they have no reason not to, uh... Leave their homeworld. When, uh, when they joined the Federation, what I got from them were not... Andorians, I got the Anar, which are interesting and pretty cool because the Anar helped us, uh... Our Grathians, or what I'm gonna colonize with. They helped us get the psionic text, so I'm, I'm very grateful we had them. But I'm also mildly frustrated that I can't get the founders of the Federation, who I really like, in my Federation. Instead, they're contented to do their own thing. So we have Maori too? Arid? I mean, if I'm being real, I mostly just want to colonize this with Vulcans. So I'm going to do just that. Give me a Vulcan. Yo, but like, give me a Vulcan. Pajam. Pajem has Vulcans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny. Wow, this is a size 23 planet. Me likey. And this is a rogue planet. The Proto Vorta would be happy here? Really? I mean, shit. If it's passable for the Proto Vorta, knock yourselves out. The Kala is never going to get more colonizable for anyone. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's probably fine. Go forth and colonize. Nope. Upgrade. <laughs> Alright, upgrading this. You get another trading depot. Oh boy, I don't know what you have and what you don't have. Deluxe restaurant, probably. We have a promenade coming. We are done with an orbital science center. Orbital museum. Open hipper is done. Ooh, fire rate bonus. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's give you holographic. Uh, uh, restaurant. Yeah, got to get that tiny bit of unity. I mean, no, not really, but I want it. Lost to bureaucracy. God, this event happens a lot. Which is fair, because a lot of things do get lost to bureaucracy. Do we invest in this area, wasting 100 influence, 500 energy credits, and getting a bunch of unity, or... Yeah, I don't want to have to micro this. It's... Is it worth it? I don't know, but I don't want to micro it. Master Builders, which is a useless tech, because we have no mega structures, and I'm fairly sure you can't build any mega structures in this mod. But we have it now. Elite Fighters is the cheapest tech that we can pick up, that and advanced mineral processing. We are really not wanting for minerals at all. This is in the ship design tree, so we might unlock some interesting new things. Tri-Cobalt Railgun, tell me more of this. Lots of hull damage. No real shield damage. I'm not into it. Let's go with Dedicated Fighter Wing. Advances in fighter technology mean the next step is well the next step really the next step the next step is west well equipped for both dogfighting and anti-capital operations dedicated fighters that can pack a punch wow man the grammar of that is just a train wreck of different tenses and that needs a revision there's a dyson sphere somewhere in the delta quadrant really really i mean i know that in canon there's a there's, like, around Zindi space, there should be the, in the Delphic Expanse, there should be the spheres. Game, what are you doing? Baby, what is you doing? I mean, you're hanging, so, oh. I'm thinking a war just ended. No, no? 
Alright, I'm deeply concerned what the fuck that was. <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> well, something just happened there. System with a B, can your constructors make anything? I don't think anything. Um... Step one to finding that out is making a constructor a constructor in the first place. Because, as is policy, I've been getting rid of them. Uh, deluxe restaurant. All these is. It's fine. This fine. This fine. This fine. This fine. This is fine. Yeah. Let's. Oop. Nope. Something to build on Riza. I'll take a look and see. God, Riza's gonna be producing so much food. Earth. Give me a construction ship. It's close to the Vodwar Devor starting area. Okay, well, ah, uh, the Cardassians just got fucked up. Great. Well, you yeah, know, whatever. Uh, the Vodwar start in here. Their homeworld is right here. The Devor Imperium is right over here. I mean, presumably, it's in here, but shouldn't it mark on the uh, over over map if there's a mega structure in that system? Right? I'm not misremembering that. Am I? I know. <laughs> My brain is like, well, in Star Trek Online, there's there's <laughs> there's a Dyson sphere over here, Ballinger. I just saw that. I just saw that. I was hovering over it. I almost clicked on it. Draw out a bear. You know what? This, the game has a search function for a reason. Ser search function. Bell. Excuse you. Bellinger. Whoa. No, I'm assuming Bellinger is a... It's a randomly generated system. <laughs> so, your, uh, your Dyson Sphere is just random Stellaris uh, system generation. To fill in the 3,000 stars, systems in the core, in this area, and I suppose, apparently, in this area to help fill it in are random, randomly generated. So you might have just gotten lucky with that, which is interesting. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's been enabled later on. Anywho, the Borg Collective have fucked up enough Cardassians that we now have Cardassian refugees on Iota Geminorium Secundus. Cardassians I don't care much for. They're industrious, they're communal, these are all good things. They're rigid, which fucking sucks. So I may not put much of an effort into propagating their species. Yeah, well, we'll build a construction ship on Earth and see if maybe we can actually build megastructures. I don't think so. I think the only megastructures in the game are the um, unicomplexes that the board can build and the... Uh... Oh my god, the, the hunter's lodges that the Herogen can build. Unusual radiation surge. Sources within the Klingon Empire report a massive surge in Zeta radiation has been detected localized around the newly emerged region of plasma storm activity designated the Amber Maelstrom. The Klingon Empire appears to be assembling a survey mission to the anomaly. What? This seems oddly familiar. Why is this? I don't remember this. Amber Maelstrom. Uh, fascinating. More like terrifying, but fascinating. I, why does that seem so familiar? New tab, Amber Maelstrom. Now that didn't help. Hmm. Nope. I don't remember. No, not OBS. Yeah, actually, OBS is what I wanted open. Never mind. So, new tech. Got the holographic ship projector. 
Cool, cool. None of these are what I was excited about. Dang. All right, what's cheapest? Everything except for Focusing Rays 2, which I'm fairly sure is a repeatable tech, are cheapest. We could get Nope, or mm, Nope, or Nope, or Maybe. So let's go with Covariant Pulse. The Covariant Pulse Phaser. A Covariant Phaser Pulse is a theorized specialized directed energy discharge capable of taking advantage of phase retractions and energy phenomenon which can occur when power has was transferred from one system to another. Is transferred. Is transferred. Because this is all current tense or future tense, not past tense. In an enemy vessel's shield configuration. Wait, 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 wait. Taking advantage of phase retractions in an enemy's shield configuration, which are caused by... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Romulus is still around. It has not been destroyed by... Plot of Star Trek Online. Nor has... Well, oh, speaking of... Won't fall to those vermin. Egalitarianism. Ha! The United Federation of Planets will not survive the year. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. We've made it this far. And I'm fairly sure that... Uh, Initiating communication. Kronos' moon has not exploded either. Yes, Praxis is still here. Ooh, research agreement with the Andoria sector. Can Andorians grow beards? Can they? I mean, it just looks wrong. Do I have any Andorians in here? I don't like this. <laughs> this. This doesn't look right to me. Uh, yes, I accept, but what? <laughs> that is a very interesting Santa Claus. He's gonna bring you specialized lasers or phasers and death for Christmas is this a normal thing no right well none of you have beards I mean maybe hmm maybe it is normal I don't I don't know I had I had a, a really interesting glitch a while back where the Cations had antenna, Andorian antenna, so something got mixed up there, but I only had it happen once. <laughs> it's, it's very good. I mean, there there is inter interbreeding. Uh one of the in the latter latter seasons of Star Trek Enterprise a subject that they talk about and you know investigate is maybe a strong word they delve into at least is the that in the in the far future of the federation oh all right they can awaken in the far future of the federation that lots of people have like 20 percent andorian dna and stuff like that sweepers awaken it began as a shuttle shift, shift in behavior. Scattered reports of their ships once rarely seen outside their own space now being spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels visiting ancient, ruined worlds, refusing all hails and fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission? Unknown. Until now. We now know that the Metron were preparing. Recovering the data banks of survey beacons and automated scouting posts left behind when they retreated to their present borders, gathering information for their return to the galactic stage. In Metron space, fleets are gathering, armies are being mustered, and ancient factories roar to life. For the first time in an age, the Metron Consortium are looking outwards, beyond their borders, and toward the galaxy at large. As their decaying shipyards are repaired and refitted and dormant systems of titan foundries come online, the rest of the galaxy is left with only one question. Who will this once sweeping giant target first in their quest to reclaim age-old glory lost? Giants in the playground. Well, game if I had to guess. Just going out on a whim here. Hmm. Who border the Metron Consortium? Ah, that's right. I do. Ah, uh, who else? Oh, me? Me? 
me. And, oh, don't forget about me. Now, it's to be fair, the Orions and Noskins might also be within jump range, but I have a suspicion it's me. But these fuckers like me. Not a ton, but they like me because I'm pacifist and they're pacifist. Please, please don't attack the queen. You, imperious? Superior? Mm, well, I guess your tech is better than mine, but... Girl, don't, don't start this. D don't, don't play me like that. I'm just, uh, I'm not paranoid or worried about this at all. Just ignore what I'm doing right now. I'm definitely not... <laughs> outfitting defensive stations because I'm going to be building them on the border. No, why would you think that? That's, that's crazy talk. Uh, yeah, Chronoton, Magnetasium. Wait, this doesn't give evasion. <laughs> it gives evasion. This is 100% right. Yeah, okay, okay, good. Uh, fixed mounted radar system. Give me fixed mount gravitic systems. Better tracking. Dope. EPS relays. We, we have something better than EPS relays, right? Right? Ooh. Holographic tactical stations are quite good. Um, EPS Relay 3. Yep, yep, holographic tactical stations are the way to go. Tactical stations do slightly less weapon damage, but the shield penetration and armor penetration is quite fantastic. I can have light station sec section, which is not amazing. It does give subatomic temporal disruptors. Hmm. Before I modify that too heavily, let's just stick with the Peregrine Assault Fighters. Save this as the Deimos Station. Because you're within sensor range. What a... Are these Titans? Assault Vessel. Yeah, what What are the biggest fleets you have? Uh, this. This is the biggest, baddest ship you have. 15k. Not bad. Flagship... Flagship... Derfa? I live on De Urfa. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Uh, hit points, very big. Shields, very big. Armor. So mostly shields, some armor, but primarily shields. You have... You're still using warp engines. Ha! Ha! Look at these jokers. They're shitty warp engines. Uh, you do lots of shield penetration, though a lot of armor damage as well. Reduced shield damage by your torpedoes, which is very common, so not really a clear approach on what's best to do there. Lots of shields, though. Hmm. So shield penetration and armor damage are probably the best way to go here. What exactly does this deal? 118 damage is average. That's really hard to top with what we have here as in impossible to tell yeah stick stick with the fighters but what could go worse a lot could go wrong but that that's fine that's fine okay so hello just gonna excuse you no does it actually need to be a star base to have defend son of a bitch well then i'll wait they can now use the subjugation, cast a spell against us. Yeah, but just, like, don't. Do, do me and you and the whole fucking galaxy a favor, and don't. Because I can kill you. It'll be slow and awkward and real painful, but I can do it. And, unlike you, I'm going to be researching new tech, and my borders can grow. Just keep trying to move people to your son. Petron Consortium, just keep doing that. I mean, actually, I can trade with you now. Yeah, research agreement? Oh! Oh, damn! That is... That is a lot of tech. Yes, but I have nine physics techs you don't know of, six society, and 14 engineering techs you don't know about, whereas you know 338 physics text that I don't. What in the fuck? That's crazy! 
Good God! Construction complete. Uh, no, not not down with communications because imperious attitude. Yeah, yeah of course. Why would this be easy? All right, would you just sit there and be angry? You do that. I'm gonna do my best to ignore you. Fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not doing trade depots here. Falling into, falling into my uh, my bad habits again. This is gonna be a starbase or uh, shipyard. So because it's a shipyard, well, obviously we get an orbital science center because why wouldn't I? Uh, but more importantly, we need, well, not more importantly, but importantly, we need not crew quarters, which is nice, but not necessary. Computer core, no. All graphic training center, no. Hollow suite, no. We can only have one fleet academy. Ah, uh, no, it requires we have a shipyard. Okay, no, I'll wait. Must have a every racial weapons tech, yeah, or something. I'm, I'm intrigued, terrified, and intrigued. Crew quarters. Let's do 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 do. Ah, uh, this would be fine on its own. Jupiter Station, what are you made out of? You have crew quarter, traffic control, fleet academy, hollow suite, orbital museum, and orbital science center. So we could actually be okay popping down a crew quarter there. That would satiate this. So yeah, give me crew quarters. All right, boyo. Oh, well, what the fuck? I can build. <laughs> I was wrong! So, Starfleet Naval Museum. The Starfleet Naval Museum is operated by the civilian Starfleet Historical Society on behalf of Starfleet. It houses a number of retired starships, preserving the ships of the past for future generations. Can I... Oh, and then I have to decide where to build it. Uh, on the moon? No, that has a tile on it. Uh, Venus? Yeah, Venus doesn't have anything worthwhile on it. Build me the Starfleet Naval Museum in orbit of Venus. Oh, it's in orbit of... Well, still, put it in orbit of Venus. We don't have anything exciting there. Turns out I'm wrong, and we can build Ships certain upgraded. mega structures. so... Ships Whoops. <laughs> Jupiter Station is not around Jupiter. Jupiter Station is in orbit of, well, the sun, but it should be in orbit of Jupiter. <laughs> the mod authors do want to put it in orbit of Jupiter, but it's really, really difficult to get star bases to spawn in specific locations, so they've had some difficulty with that. Ooh boy. Yeah, we're 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 good. I mean you're superior, which is terrifying. Watchful regulation. You here to submit to our regulations? Nah, dog. Not even not even a little. I will insist on researching every rare and every dangerous tech by principle. Can you build both at the same time? Uh probably. Uh, no, well, if I had enough influence, we might be able to. The array superstructure. The Argus array must be built around a available star or black hole inside your empire. The system must not have any habitable planets. The Argus array, to my knowledge, is just a sensor array. Uh, yep. Benzar wants to research with us. Alright, let's, uh, let's do a thing. Okay, I'm no longer hovering over by sort by their opinions. It, <laughs> the menus really start to lag after a while. Alright, Talarian. <laughs> yeah, Talarian. Talarians? Talarians? Why does that not sound right? So they have some tech we don't have. I'm willing to bet it's racially exclusive tech. 
But on the minute chance I'm wrong about that, just gonna go through every single one of these, be like, hey, want a research agreement? You have a notable number of texts that I don't have. Why is this zero? Am I already giving you this? Girl, what? Excuse you. Don't make this difficult. Okay. Thank you for making this more tricky than it needs to be. Nausicans. Nausicans not really known for their uh, technological proclivity, but... Ah, no, they definitely have text that I don't if that had a negative modifier. Give me. Give me your text, Nausicans. I keep clicking on the wrong menu. Alright, open trade deal. I really wish there was a way to uh, accept as a policy permanent research agreement with all Federation members and founders. Permanent relationship. God, I can't get over the beard. It looks so wrong to me. I don't. I don't like it. It's it's an abomination. <laughs> All right, Betazoids. Yes, hello. You got research for me? No, it doesn't look like it. That or we already have a research agreement, which is probably the case. It probably hasn't been 30 years since I've last done this. But, well, I, I now have a neighbor I'm even more scared of than the Borg. The Borg are terrifying. Utterly terrifying because they eat everything around them, and it doesn't seem like there's anything stopping them from eating the vast majority of the galaxy if I can't get them either in coalition with us or become our protectorate. And Lord knows I'm trying. But now, going to war with the Borg means potentially encouraging the Consortium to stab us in the back. And dealing with the Consortium first, which is difficult because they're roughly our ideology and declaring war on them would be kind of hard. Uh... The Borg might go, oh, hey, they've been greatly weakened. Let's step in on this. And then <laughs> in Stellaris, wars often happen in a cascading manner. One person declares war on you, and then another, and then another, and then another. <laughs> I don't want to play dominoes. <laughs> I, I want to play hammer and nail. I want to hammer things into the ground and emerge unchallenged and victorious. I don't, uh, don't want to be dying. Alright, Boliacs, the Cations, the Denobulans, oh my god, we have so many Federation members. Uh, this is a mistake. I quit. It's not worth it. It's just gonna take too much time, and the benefit is there, but not worth it. Yes, thank you for the research agreements. Now, I've, I remember now why I quit doing this. Beard Andorians. Okay, well, if they awaken, another is likely to awaken. And hopefully all of them will awaken rather than just one or two. I like it more when they all wake up. The First Federation would be good for us. Very good for us. The Voth would be great for us because all that's around them are Borg. And the Voth fucking taking out the Borg would just be beautiful terrifying but beautiful and the Voth are ideologically opposed to them so we'll see or the Herc the Herc I'm not crazy about because they're militant fanatic xenophobes militant isolationists who are entirely surrounded by me do not want at least the first federation might attack the Shiliac corporate instead of us Hopefully. Just swarms of defiance. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's kind of hard to look at because it's a very bright sun, but it's beautiful. Yeah, the Herc seems most likely. I, Well, no. If, if it's the opposite ideology, the opposite of the fanatic materialist would be the fanatic spiritualist, right? 
and the fanatic spiritualist would be the Voth. The Herc are fanatic xenophobes, and the xenatic, fanatic xenophiles are the First Federation, who are not awake. Assuming that the mechanics work that way. But it might just be holdover uh, vanilla Stellaris mechanics, in which case it's, it's totally randomized, I think. Holy shit! I haven't seen this event in forever. We're still surveying things? USS Cortez. Where's the Cortez? Oh no, you can just get this when they're assisting research. Amazing! That is the best thing to stick on a science ship. I thought it was good before, but when you can get it for assisting research, holy shit, classrooms forever. Onboard schools are the best. The text really does not does not suggest that it would give influence. It says it gives a free leader, but it, more importantly, it gives a pretty decent amount of influence, which is way way more important. Astrometrics lab. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. The Fendomar and the Husnox are now rivals. The Karemin and the Tarogan are now rivals. Well, the Karemin are dying slowly. Yeah, Dr. Spam. Dr. Spam is a thing. I am not into Dr. Spam. I, it's agonizing. It takes so long. Um, I'm amazed the Dominion isn't dead yet. Yeah, the, the Karemin are dead. They're a non-issue. But the Husnox declaring rivals with the Fendomar mean that the... Celestial Alliance and the Bright Axis might go to war, which is not good. The Celestial Alliance, I don't really give a fuck about. And they'll eventually be a problem we have to take care of, but they're not there yet. The Bright Axis are strong enough that the Borg don't fuck with them. But I'm sure that if the Celestial Alliance attacked them, they would become weakened enough that the Borg would fuck with them, and fuck with them hard. And because they're in a coalition, I couldn't jump in and save any of them, so that would be real awkward. Anywho, let's begin a session talks. I would really prefer for it to be the Vodwar because they have a massive population. Uh, the Iridian League? Wait a minute. The Iridian League. Definitely the Iridian League, because if we integrate the Iridian League, the coalition ends, and I can join somebody else's coalition, which means I could get in... Maybe on the Bright Axis over here, or... Man, is that really the only coalition left that I want to join? The Bright League might let me join. Well, but the Shiliac hate me, so no. Maybe the Favorable Alliance, but they're pretty much dead. Yeah, maybe the Bright Axis, but that... I don't know. We're more alone than I remember. Foreign soil enrichment, fine and good. Global environment colony kits. In order to standardize our terraforming efforts, a terraforming device containing all. <laughs> Fuck off, Gek. All right, good, good Fallout reference, I think. Uh, containing all the necessary seeds, fertilizer, power generator, and replicators that a planet needs has been designed, known as the Gek for short. Now. Garden of Eden creation kit. No, 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 no. This is the global environment colony kit. Am I? Global environment colony kit. This is not a reference to anything from Star Trek lore. No, this is a this is a Fallout Easter egg. I see you there. Well, we're not playing Fallout 2 yet, so I don't... I don't need to know about no Gex. Wait, is that Fallout 3? Fallout 3, you need to get a Gex. Not Fallout 2. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Look at this nerd, can't even keep his Fallout games right.
one arbitrary piece of fake technology is clearly distinguishable from another. I hate that I built a division headquarters here, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, so we have two new marshland planets. I'm just going to colonize them with whatever. Who wants this? Who, who dis? Uh, Agrathians, Zeppelites, Bullions, Frangi. Let's go with the Agrathians. They had a small population, and other populations will just... Coalesce. Ooh, okay. Well, somebody just tried to... I don't know who, but somebody just tried to give a shit. Uh, I mean, Bullions are thrifty. Nah, Ferengi are probably the best, except they're greedy. Argrathians are enduring conformists. They're rigid. Ugh, God, I don't like any of them. Marsh world people suck. <laughs> right, so all those options, I'm not really happy with the bonuses that they give. You got anything better? Antikins. Antikins are less terrible. I don't think they're amazing, but the Antikins can have this. Right, you are resilient and skilled hunters. No, you're just, you're even worse. All right, well, here you go. Here's a garbage world for you garbage cat people. What, are Antikins, are they supposed to be dog people? Because the Cations are cat people. But then again, they're like three different kinds of cat people and in Star Trek. Uh, the Romulan Star Empire attempted to disrupt our diplomatic efforts. How dare you? Who would have the known a Romulan to, to be so predictably treacherous? Who, who could have called you being devious and untrustworthy as if they were traits of your people in this game or something? No, I can't see that. Well, I... Ah, the Borg are at peace with the Dominion. Because apparently, half a fucking Cardassian space is good enough, and taking a big chunk, a small chunk, really, out of the Screen Republic is fine. The Screen Republic don't know it, but they got their asses saved by the invasion from the Tarogan Empire. The Tarogan Empire up, <laughs> occupying all of these, saved them from being killed by the Borg. And now, now the Dominion are occupied by the Tarogan Empire. What? Baby, what? What What the fuck is happening? What are you doing? Yeah. Alright, the Tarogan Empire annexation of Miron. Is that even a system they can get anymore? Oh, whatever. It doesn't involve me. Just, just let it go. Be grateful it wasn't worse and let it go. But now, the Cardassians are in a position where they are likely to be attacked by the Borg again. As soon as the truce is up. So it means I might want to be the one to break our truce first. The greater good, our consumer goods cost reduced by 20%. So we're going to see this go up a tiny bit. There we go. 300 a month. Not bad. So in, what, eight years? Seven years? Math. Math years will have the celebration of individuality, which will give us Frontier Grove, which may be good, it may not. That will give us Unrest Reduction, which is almost entirely useless for us. Most importantly, it'll give us our last Ascension slot, which... Oh, gee, I, I made a decision on what we should get a long time ago, and then have streamed many times since then. Notebook, tell me your secrets. Nope, that's Fallout Notes. That's not related. Gorn, Herogen, all this seems vaguely relevant. Nope. There we go. I was saying 50% fleet limit or we really don't have that. Space Fortress, 
Galactic force projection? Nah, that's not what I want. <laughs> Ships upgraded. Fleet maneuvers. I already have that. So I was choosing between three opinion or five core sector systems. I think I'm going to go with the core sector systems if it lets me micromanage a little bit more. The 30 opinion, however, might make it... Uh, yep, no, nope, see, I still haven't reached a decision. I can I can read my notes where I'm like, go for this one! And I'm still like, hmm. But maybe no. Alright, covariant pulse, done. And likewise, we are done with dedicated fighter wing. It's great, very good news. Heavy weapon platform is a new station. Defensive outposts that provide extensive protection against enemy incursions have served to... Yeah, it's stationary, but it's quite good. Multi-phasic planetary shield I won't be using. Interlacing field quantum torpedo are interesting. Rapid fire quantum torpedo, interesting, but I'm not going to use them immediately. Let's go with heavy weapon platforms. These massive defensive outposts provide extensive protection against enemy incursion and serve to deter less enthusiastic adversaries from nefarious behavior. That's the goal. And no FTL, huh? Well, the cheapest thing by far is to go for pulse compression wave phasers. We won't make use of them. Most phasers fire continuous beam of nadion particles. Studies of how assault phaser beams act when impacting a target have revealed that a pulse beam might be more effective. Sadly, no nadion emitters capable of generating pulses at a high enough energy have been developed. Instead, the phaser coil assembly will have to be augmented with low power graviton generator. And I still won't use it. But maybe it's a prerequisite for something else. Ah, the Osakan hunters have opened their borders. Well, I'm glad the board didn't kill you. Completely, anyway. <laughs> How the fuck is the United Congress of Benea still alive? Who? What? How are the Beneans still alive? I know how the, the goddamn Talaxians are alive. This, this ain't no Talaxian. Me. But. Do you just have all Ks on? Wow, this is weird. <laughs> the Talaxian commonality, so named for the extinct species, the Talaxians, <laughs> consists entirely of. <laughs> Not Talaxians. Yeah, it's all Kazon. Weird. Man, the Kazon are not very, um... Sentimental people. The idea of them rena renaming their entire civilization, or even a sect, after the Talaxians is laughable? But, I mean, the Talaxians did protect them for a long, long time. And actually beat them for a long time. The the Borg are very interesting in their ability just to wipe clean the history of an entire sector of space. Like if I go in and look at some of the planets we've incorporated, you can kind of get a hint of the the politics of years and decades and centuries past, just because of certain buildings that are there, certain populations that are there, and oh my God, I can be building something here. But when the Borg stop by, everything gets destroyed. Everything gets wiped away. And not not even in a hyper dramatic way. Just they assimilate everything and move pops around so it's just Borg. Borg everywhere. I guess from the remaining species, you could probably or subspecies of Borg anyway, you could probably determine approximately who used to be there and what they used to do but a lot of the remnant populations would, would not be quite the same how's this going 90% hell yeah give me this thing which will hopefully boost science output please god let it boost science output <laughs> if it boosts unity I'm going to be Mildly disappointed. Just just mildly disappointed. Our fleets are at capacity. 
they are very at capacity. I could buff them out with things that use up less ship size. Destroyers. Each of them could have one destroyer. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm kind of tempted, but not tempted enough to go through with it. Oh. I would love to be able to raise our fleet command limit, but it's already been raised significantly. Yeah, might not be possible to raise that any higher. Or it might be. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But all of our fleets have been retrofitted. Correct? Very correct. Well, go get me Corcorioli here. And our navy... I could attack the Borg. I could. And I'm tempted to. I could attack the Ryans and Rigelians. Could I, actually? Well, I, I guess the Euridians have been annoying in forcing us to fight certain wars or not fight other wars. I could force the Orions to embrace our ideology, which would make them... We could turn them into a protectorate. Yeah, I should do that. Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I should do that. That'll be easy. And then I remembered. Wow, Alex. Doing that involves waiting 2,000 days. 2,100 days for your fucking armies to get down to the right sector of space. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. Oh, they'll be coming around the mountain in... What is that? 2,000 divided by 300... Uh, six or seven years? <laughs> About a decade. God, it's... Wow, okay, why is this one so much faster? Oh, because you're in Sevilla. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. You two merge. Merge, 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 merge. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, now now you come down to Capella or whatever. So in in seven years, in early 2360s, we will go to war with the Orion Free State. Yeah, God. Mod, mod team, mod team, let me use better war vengeance on these, please, please. Let me put trans warp engines on. Uh, on transport ships let us customize transport ships again this might be a uh, a hard lockout thing that Stellaris changed that is hard to mod back but <laughs> I'm a simple man all I want is to be able to send ships quickly across my massive sprawling empire sure it's horribly unbalanced but uh, come on come on Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be faster to make local armies? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you're probably right. Hold on, let's let's check it. Shit, not 40 Iridani. Uh, 80 Leonis here. So, to make one of these 8 by 2 armies. And these are all Klingon because I was being very min-maxy. 75 times eight yeah it's probably faster and your deep strike commando fours yeah yeah okay do i leave them up here oh holy shit the talaxians also have maze wait do you have actual talaxians here my mind's gonna be blown if you have actual talaxians no never mind just more kazon <laughs> um should they stay in the neighborhood Pros of them staying in the neighborhood. Oh, right, the Cytherian Enlightenment might also uh, awaken. They'd be usable against the Borg if slash when that becomes a thing. That's really about it, huh? Yeah, no, fuck it. Just hold. Hold, 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 hold. How many armies do I really need? 
we need to occupy Tai Iridani 1, which has one colonized system, or planet, so one. Then we need one for Vondam, so two. And then to take out the Rigelians, we need, what, one more? One, not one, two, so three, four, four total. All right, yep, you're, you're right. It would be faster to make local armies. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Uh, no, let's... Okay, you are way too multicultural. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight and one, two. One, two. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this should say nine? Yeah. I, it was four, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this should say number nine at the bottom of the list. Yep. And then last one in Captain Star here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's eight, nine, ten. Okay. So it'll be still years before any of these are ready, but it'll be on the order of like three years rather than seven years <laughs> it's, it's half the time and we could even slow things down even more than that not worth it not worth it to me i'm trying to decide if it's it's probably worth keeping these armies intact and paying their upkeep even though all they're doing is idling near the borg because I do hope to use them to liberate Borg worlds eventually. Now, it's about the end of the hour, so I'm going to wait until the end of the month. Fuck. The Borg Collective have declared war on the Zenkethi Coalition. Not if I declare war first. Not if I declare war first. All right, uh, you're protected by the Tholians and the Bree. No! No, no, no. Fuck! I'll put in a cut here. And I have to decide if we're going to do to the Tholians, the Zinkethi, and the Breen what we did to the Vodwar and attack them for their own good. Mm. Fuck the Borg. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, YouTube. In the meantime, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, all that silly stuff. Until then, toodaloo, take care. I'll see you later. Bye bye.